This is the authoring tool exploration video of Smart Builder. <clears throat> this is what it looks like when it first starts up. This program is um, within the computer. It does not, it's not web based. And so it downloads and we should be ready to go. For here, you can um, do the brief process overview, giving you some different basics. And then there are video tutorials. <clears throat> Then it's going to come up that you um, are able to create. You can create a new lesson, you can um, import a PowerPoint, or you can create a new course. The new course would have to be with the professional um, pricing plan. Right now I just have the community edition plan, so I will be just using the top um, two. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new lesson. And so you can look at the basic view or the advanced view. I'm going to stick with basic and type in my or my title. And so then here we have our um, where we're going to go for our lesson. And this is for technology integration. This is showing us our first page. If we come over to the side, we can add text, we can add a graphic, um, we can upload from a computer, or we can select from the library. We can add audio, so I would be able to um, record and do things such as that. Um, this is a very, um, oh, what is the word I'm trying to look for? Of very computer based it's got you know it doesn't have those um templates and wizards already for you when you just click the basic lesson you're able to add videos and shapes and then it goes down here through all these different things of putting in text dragging and dropping adding a timer timeline things <clears throat> such as that um, and you are able to save this as a template once you get going which is a nice feature if you get something let's go over here to the actual templates though and let's see and so the templates would have to be ones that um, you're looking at through these and so um, you can pick on any of these I would suggest when I look at these it'd be easier to create something first and then make it into your template. So I'm going to cancel out of here. Um, when looking at all these different ways for using Smart, I'm really able to apply the personalization principle so that um, it can be in my own way. I'm able to add that audio so that um, I can create and um, add my own voice and things such as that. I am able to add more pages, which is great for the segmenting principle so that it can be broken down into parts for those different things. When I look at using Smart Builder, um, I'm able to really apply the coherence principle because I, you're really starting from a blank canvas, so you're not having that template that's adding in all those different extraneous texts for words and graphics and things such as that. You are really making it your own, which is really crucial to creating that e-learning. And then for the last one, we're able to apply that multimedia principle, really using those words and graphics rather than just using words. We are able to show how we are um, adding images and things such as that. This is just a short version of how to use or what Smart Builder is like for the authoring tool exploration.